what's going on guys big welcome to y'all to our channel we are team crushing the mana and i'm here for you guys with the um, <laughs> a video to talk about how to build your standard spike deck so we're starting with standard we will be build our way through to premium but first it's really good to play standard a little bit and test the cards and understand how they work so in my testing i came to the conclusion that you could build Spike Brothers standard in two different ways to focus on Force 1 or to focus on Force 2. And the reason why I'm saying that, I know that most of you guys would say, yeah, but you could also build a deck to work with both. Yes, I agree, but still, your focus would be on one of the two while building your deck. So the deck that runs Force 1 wants to go into Bad and Dryer first or General Siegfried to put a little bit of pressure on your opponent and then you kind of go into Dead Heat Bull Spike. Why run more Bad and Dragger and not Siegfried is because Bad and Dragger in my opinion puts also a lot of pressure on your opponent as a braggart so riding into him first you could always get him later when you ride into Bull Spike you retire two of your opponent's braggarts and you still have the option to give him the extra 5k in a crit and you're already moving two markers around so you have very strong attacks so that's when you come to this deck which runs four copies of bed and dragger four copies of bull spike and then you could add one general seafried in here if needed general seafried also helps if you kind of go to dead heat bull spike first then you want to go into something else and that's when you go to Seafried. If you want a deck that works in between the two, then I would advise you to take out a Bad and Dragger to add in a General Seafried. So the deck would look like this. Four copies of Bull Spike as a German Grey 3. Then you add three Bad and Draggers to Seafried. That's how the deck would look like. Problem with this deck is, if you want to go Force 2, then in the most situations, you kind of want to go into Bull Spike first. Then you want to go into the General Seafried. So you'll add three copies of Seafried. Then you want more power, and that's when you go with Chicken Out Maximum and not Bad and Dragger. Because Bad and Dragger costs you a Counter Blast and gets five less K. While the General Seafried could use that Counter Blast to give the General Out Maximum extra 10k. So the power difference between Bad and Dragger and General Sifrid would not be 5k to be 15k and that's a critical trigger from your opponent's hand and that's a big difference. So that's why the deck that uses Force 2 would look more like this. 4 Bull Spike, 3 General Sifrid and 3 Juggernaut Maximum or 2 or 3 depending on how you like. I tested this, the deck like this and it did work perfect for me but again for more consistency i would still run the uh, three general seafried and three juggernaut maximum just to have the general seafried as your second right target after no spike okay so that's that's the difference between the two decks and what or which deck works better and when well if you go for force one then usually you want to ride into bed and dragger first so you get him later on and you could later on move your force one worker with bull spike that would mean that you will get the skill of bull spike that nothing will hit and you draw a card and you retire something from the opponent field later on that turn the turn that you already have retired two car two from your opponent units with uh, bed and dragger so it's good but it's less good because you will put the pressure on your opponent later on in the game maybe they already have like a perfect guard or two perfect guards in their hand and with that like they could guard this with a perfect guard guard this attack and take the third one well when you go to bull spike first you put pressure on them in the early game and you have force two already and then from that moment on um you will be destroying your opponents and maybe they will not even have the time to get the markers to their hand so my favorite build is still going with force 2 using bull spike as your first right target then you go into z and then you kind of destroy your opponent to finish them off 
So this is the build that uses Force 2. The great two lineup would be playing Rinaldo or Spike Bouncer. It's really up to you. So going with Force 1 or Force 2 really doesn't matter. I'm a bigger fan of Ronaldo because he also become better in the late game. While Spike Bouncer um, is actually kind of very good in the early game. But later on you, you don't need him anymore. And with Ronaldo right here. You can add cards like High Speed Bracket to the deck. Which is always good to fill up the soul, gain power. And I would advise you to run Provoke Needle. He's really good and you don't really need to use him a lot um, by calling more copies of him because he just gained the 10k. With both spikes, especially as your first right target, you kind of could leave the marker chilling on Provoke Needle as your last attack and he becomes a 20k on the field which is a rare guy that your opponent would have a hard time to get rid of. The Great One lineup would be actually very stable, which running 4 copies of Wonderboy, 4 copies of Vance Pinter, and 4 Snapper Devil. And the cards that you could add in here is only Commander Gary Cannon. I don't advise you to run Gyro Slinger anymore or any other card, especially because we already have Ronaldo. Commander Gary Cannon could add to the consistency of the deck, so you could run him if needed, but I didn't find myself needing him even with 2 copies of General Seafried. But now we are running even 3, so that's more than enough. For the great zeros, of course you run 4 tiaras, 4 merlin, and then 8 crits. I did try out the 12 crits, was not needed. I did try 6 draws on 6 crits. I kind of needed the crits then, and there was just no reason to draw because this deck actually has a very good uh, draw engine with both spike and Rinaldo filling up the field. So this is how the deck would actually look like. So let's check it again. So the deck would be 4 copies of Wolf Spike, 3 copies of General Seafried, followed up by 3 copies of Juggernaut Maximum, then we have Rinaldo at 4, High Speed Bracky at 4, only 3 Provoke Needle because we have 10 great 3s. Then for the great ones we run Boy, Punter, Snapper Devil all at 4, then we have the 4 heals, 4 draws, PGs, and then 8 crits and, perf and a stand. Wait, which is Mega Trainer, the starter. Alright, then let's go back and build the deck that kind of runs more around having Force 1, which is how the deck was actually des designed to work. And that's when you will add 4 or 3 copies of Bed and Dragger, depending if you want to run General Seafried or not. So let's say you will not run General Seafried. <coughs> so then you go with your first right target would be Bed and Dragger, then you add the Bull Spike, also at 4, then you go to the Great Twos, you run the 4 Rinaldos, but you add 2 copies of Spike Bouncer because you have the Count Blast and it's good in the early game, then you add four copies of high speed bracky and then of course because you run less grade threes you could also add needle so that's eight that's ten that's thirteen grade twos which is a lot but again you have the space so we go for the uh, great ones again i'm not needing commander gary cannon right here i'm giving him up for the snapper devil and the offensive punter then we go to the great zeros again we go 4, 4, 8, and the starter. And that's it. You've built your other deck, which is the deck that runs more around having Force 1. 4 Bad and Dragger, 4 Bull Spike, 4 Ronaldo. You could add the Spike Bouncer, you could take him out to run more, um, like an extra copy Provoke Needle or another Great One or anything you want. But I like the great twos in this deck. Um, and then, of course, we have the boy, snapper devil, punter, and then the same great zeros. So, this deck would be riding first into bed and dragger, then going to bull spike. And with that, you already have like two copies of, <laughs> of course, the uh, force one. And that's just amazing because the force one will move around 
and uh, with that with having like the bed and dragger come out of your soul you already have a very strong attacking turn with having the two force markers right here and of course this also could become even stronger so would be like 28 by itself and with having the two force markers would be 38 so that's the way that you could build the uh, the two sparklers decks in my opinion now that's actually it for this video i would like to thank you guys of course for watching and if you guys are interested in different matches then i will also do different matches for each of these two decks and also show it to you guys and see what you guys think about them so again thanks for watching guys until next time